Hi, it is Marie, and I'm back again today with another video. Um, so this past week, it was midterms, and I did pull an all-nighter. Um, not last night, but the night before that, and so I'm still pretty tired. Um, so bear with me if you can. Um, because today I wanted to talk about cerebral palsy awareness. Um, you know, I find that there are two types of people in the world, um, commonly. There is either the person who, is, who doesn't know anything about cerebral palsy um, and doesn't know I have it, or there is a person who, who looks at me, um, knows I have cerebral palsy, knows what cerebral palsy is, um, and then just tries to uh, tries to be over responsive to every little move I make. You know, it's like, can I help you with that? Are you in pain? Are you okay with this? you know and it goes on uh, and it, it gets a little annoying um, so those are very inter two very interesting worlds to live in um, because you know and then you have on this the other side the person who's not in tune with cerebral palsy goes oh you know you know what what problem what's wrong with your legs and um, they, they try to assist you if if you're having any trouble um, and I think this can be um, unproductive um, because they're trying to assist you um, based on their assumption that it's a problem with your legs um, when in fact it's a problem with how your brain sends signals um, to your muscles, messages to your muscles. And so when they're trying to help you, they're going, oh, she has a problem with her legs. And it's like, no, 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 no. You're not actually helping me then. Um, because, you know, how you're helping me would, would help me if I had a problem with my legs, but I don't. Um, and so I said this before and I'll say it again. I think um, before anyone is introduced to anyone with cerebral palsy, they've already met them on the news and they've met them as, as the kid um, who washes the football jerseys um, who got to score a touchdown with the team or they meet them as a kid who got voted homecoming king or homecoming queen um, by their peers and oh look how look how nice look how kind our kids are to do something like that um, and it's just in all this big self-aggrandizing moment um, and but like, the, there, there's no information further on that to what cerebral, cerebral palsy is. You know, whenever people hear about it, the only time they hear about it is in those types of news stories. And it's like, okay, how does cerebral palsy affect people? Affect people? You know, is cerebral palsy different um, throughout different types of people? Yes, it is. But people don't know that. You know, uh, how does cerebral palsy affect the, affect the body? It should be obvious based on the name, um, but there are some people that, 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 that don't really know how it, how it affects the body. And, and, and so uh, there, there's all this lack of awareness out there as to what it really is. Um, and especially I find this to be true, you know, in adulthood, you know, we, we don't get to see people with cerebral palsy with jobs. We only see them as that defenseless person, as that kid on the football team. Um, we don't get to see them living productive lives. Um, I think this is harmful, one, to a person with cerebral palsy like myself, because it's like, oh, I don't see people with cerebral palsy out there, uh, you know, getting jobs. Um, but I also think it's it's um, harmful to an employee because you know they, they don't know how cerebral palsy affects someone. They just see you as someone with a disability who might not be as productive. Um, but you know they don't see all the good sides about cerebral palsy about people with disabilities. You know um, because it, it's my view that a lot of people with disabilities once they get the hang of something. Um, are very hard-working people um, and it just takes patience to train them. Now this doesn't mean that everyone has to alter their their world view to accommodate um, people like myself in the in the workforce you know I you know I want like the best people that can actually do the job to get hired 
Um, but at the same time, like, I, I could be one of those people um, if people weren't so um, fearful of people with disabilities and they didn't hold a stigma against them that these people won't amount to anything. Um, but where does that come back to? That comes back to only seeing them as these defenseless people, um, as, as these people on, on, you know, washing the clothes, you know, because God forbid if they're actually in actual activity, you know, with, with able-bodied people, we have to separate them from the rest of the world, and so they can't come in and be with the rest of the world. Um, and, and, <laughs> and so that is all I have to say for today. Um, I will say goodbye and I will see you in the next video. Bye.